A new Gallup poll found that more than two-thirds of Americans believe in hell, but they don't agree on where it is, what it means, or how you get there. Tonight, Bill Weir has some answers. He's here with us today. You've got this special hour-long report on 2020 tonight called Hell, the Fear, and the Fascination. And you talked to one guy who says he believes he's been to heaven and hell and come back? And he has, yeah. This is an ancient phenomenon there. And really, every culture has some version of a horrible life after death. The Quran tells of the prophet Muhammad's journey to hell and back. And many Christians believe that's where Jesus spent three days after his crucifixion. And then there's Matthew DeVell, an Alaska man who says he went to heaven once and liked it so much, he killed himself to return. I call myself a, a hostile witness. <laughs> to have it in hell. The first time he died, Matthew DeVal was 12, trying to swim the entire length of a pool underwater. I was completely out of uh, breath. The, the instant that I took the breath of water in, uh, a white light engulfed me, and I flashed back over my life. And out of the middle of the light uh, came an individual, just a beautiful creature, and it was uh, Jesus Christ. And he grabbed me by the wrist and said, you got to go back. I'm instantly on the side of the pool on my back. He had been rescued by his friends, but that glimpse into the afterlife left him confused and profoundly depressed. The next decade became a constant cycle of booze and cocaine-fueled binges, I just said, I can't live like this another day. At that moment, I, I chose uh, to commit some 